Hello and welcome to Group 159's Expert System Builder tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create a basic expert system, which will help you generalize for your own expert systems and better understand how the system operates. So this is the landing page of the Expert System Builder. And since I'm just starting my application now, I'm just going to click Create System and start a new system here. What I'm going to do for my expert system is I want to make a system that classifies animals into categories based on what questions I ask the user without directly asking the user what animal it is. So I'm going to call my system Animal Classifier. And my name is Doug, so I'll put my expert name as Doug. So the most basic expert system we could have is one that doesn't actually do anything except uh, prompt the user for a message. So I'm going to go to the Actions tab here and I'm going to display a me message. This is just to show the most basic expert system. So to start my expert system I'll say I will try to predict what class your animal is. So I will create that action. And every time you create something, it'll show up in the summary tab here. So in the message column, we have this message here. So I'm pretty happy with this expert system right now, so I'm going to try to test it. So I'm going to go to the Finish tab and click on User Interface. And this will help me test it while I'm building the expert system. So I run my expert system, and I get the message that I tried to display to my user right here, I will try to predict what your animal is. And I can continue by pressing the spacebar or clicking. And the system ends. And that's because we didn't put anything behind it. We didn't put any prediction yet. We didn't get that far. So the system ends. So let's actually add some stuff to the system. We return to the expert system by pressing the stop button. and we can press the continue button to keep working on our expert system. All our progress will be saved. So if I press continue, I can see my animal classifier is still here. I can look at the summary tab. I still have the same message. So let's create our first attributes. I'm going to create an attribute called animal class. And that's what we're trying to find in the system. So an animal class will be a single attribute. A single attribute means only one of any number of possible values can be selected at a time. And that makes sense for this system because you can only have one animal class at a time. So if we were obtaining this value from the user, we could ask, what class is your animal? And I'm going to add a, po a couple of possible values here. I'm going to add mammal fish, bird, amphibian, and reptile. Alright, so I said my goal for this system was obtaining that attribute without directly asking them what it is. So let me add my, let me add my first question. Let's say we want to learn if it's a bird. We could, we could uh, think of some animal features that some of our uh, animals have and ask them about that. So I'm going to create an attribute called skin features. And skin features is going to be a multiple value attribute, which means any number of these or none of these can be selected at a time. So I'm going to ask the user which of these skin features does your animal have? And the skin features I'm going to ask about are smooth skin, scaly skin, and feathers. Well, now that we have those attributes in place, I can create my a first rule just to determine if 
a the animal they're asking for is a bird. So if the skin features equals feathers, then we're going to say the animal is a bird. And I'm going to call this rule bird rule. So we can create that rule. And rules also appear in the summary tab along with attributes, which you can later edit or delete. So now that I have part of this expert system in place, let me test it. But before I test it, I have to add a couple more actions. We already saw my first action was a message. There are a couple more other options you can have. We can use obtain a tribute or display a tribute. Obtain a tribute will allow us to obtain the attribute of any of the attributes we've created so far. So we want to know what animal it is. So we're going to try to obtain that. And then after we obtain what animal it is, we want to display what class of animal it is. So I'm going to add that there. When I return to the summary tab, we'll see I have an obtain action and a display action. So let's try this expert system and see what it, how it does so far. All right, we have our message from before. And then we have, which of these skin features does your animal have? Well, if I select feathers, I can submit it, and then it determines that it's a bird, as per our rule stated. But what happens if we didn't select feathers? If we select smooth skin or scaly skin, we can submit it, and we get unknown. The system was un unable to figure out what kind of animal it is. So we need to add more rules in order to get the system going. Again, if you on the system, it <laughs> prints out results. So I'm going to continue working on the system. I'm going to add a couple more attributes that will help us determine what kind of animal class this is. So I'm going to add the attribute warm-blooded. And I'm going to make this a Boolean attribute because an animal can either be warm-blooded, yes, or it can be warm-blooded, no. It either is warm-blooded or it isn't. So I will ask the user, is your animal warm-blooded? Another feature I will ask about is, does it live on water or land? So I'm going to use a single attribute as this because I want the possible values to be water or land, and I want them to only be able to select one at a time. So I'm going to call this attribute land water. Does your animal live? Or I'll ask, where does your animal live? I will give the values land. I also give the value water and I will create. So if we go to the summary tab, we'll see I have these four different attributes now. So now I also want to create some more rules so I can figure out if it's a mammal, an amphibian, a reptile, etc. So let me add some more rules. All right, so one of the rules I can add is determining if it's a fish. So let's call this fish rule. A fish, what does a fish have? A fish has smooth skin. It lives in water. And it's also not warm-blooded. So we'll set warm-blooded equals to false. And if all these are true, we want our animal class to be fish. So we can create that rule. Now let's create another rule, this one for amphibian. And amphibian also has smooth skin. Uh, it also, let's say, the difference between an amphibian and a fish is we'll say amphibians can sometimes live on land, or mostly live on land, so we'll say it lives on land. And this will help us distinguish between fish and amphibian in our expert system. So I'll add 
animal class equals amphibian. Uh, another rule we can have is mammal rule. Mammals are unique in that they're warm-blooded, so we'll say if warm-blooded is true, then the animal is a mammal. Finally, our last class is reptile. We haven't used scaly skin yet, so we'll use that for reptile, and that will help us determine if it's a reptile. So after inputting all these rules, we can go to the summary tab, we can see what we have. So we have one rule that determines a bird, a fish, an amphibian, a mammal, a reptile. The way I have this system set up, there's only one rule that's associated with each end result, but that doesn't have to be the case. You can imagine different ways you can set up this system to perform different things. So now that I've made this expert system, let's test it to see how it does. I'm going to go to the unit user interface and I'm going to think of an animal and see if it can correctly predict it. So the first animal I'm going to think of is a fish. So let's see if it correctly predicts that. Let's see, it has smooth skin, it lives in water, and it is not warm blooded. Animal class equals fish. Now what if we reset it and this time we're going to think of a mammal. So a mammal has not smooth skin, not scaly skin, or feathers. So we don't have to answer anything for a multiple question. We can just leave it blank. So we can continue without that. And yes, mammals are warm blooded. So I'll answer yes and the animal class will be mammal. We can continue to do this to see how it works for reptiles and amphibians. We've already seen bird work. So let me do reptile and then amphibian. So reptile has scaly skin. Uh, it is not warm blooded. And it found out it was a reptile. And finally, I'll do amphibian. An amphibian has smooth skin and it can live on, it lives mostly on land. So we'll do submit and it's not warm-blooded, so we'll do no there, and it finds our animal class as amphibian. Also, you see, when I press continue and the system ends, this result.txt will pop up. So I'll save that, and from that, I can see my results. It has all the prompts that I asked, all my responses, and what the final prediction was. So this was a tutorial on creating your first expert system. It didn't show all the features, but hopefully it helps you generalize and create your own system.